The operators of the websites that you visit can track an enormous amount about what you do on their sites, and that's something to be aware of. When you go to a particular website, even if you've somehow concealed your activity from the rest of the internet, that site clearly knows what you're doing and needs to know what you're doing uh, so that it can serve pages to you and other things. Um, to give you a sense of the kind of information that be, can be recorded, I want to uh, take, uh, give you a look at a tool called Google Analytics. So there's a variety of different libraries that you can use for tracking activity on your website. Um, you could do this on the website itself using the information it has, but sometimes it's simpler to use a library um, like Google Analytics, which injects a little bit of JavaScript into the page and then tracks things like where uh, referrals to the page come from, people's activity on the page, how long they spend on various pages, what links they click on, etc. So I have Google Analytics set up on, on several of the websites that I maintain. Um, I'm going to take you over here to my portal. Um, so you can see that here I've got uh, Google Analytics set up for uh, two websites. Um, opsclass.org, which is the website I use uh, for my OS class, and blue.cac.buffalo.dd, that's the website I use for my group. I actually haven't set it up yet for internetclass.org, um, and I'm, I will admit to not being a power user of this tool. There's like way more information here than I ever care about or I'm interested in, but you can uh, use this tool to find out some, some interesting things. So, so let's look at um, my group's website. I'm gonna click on all website data. Um, and you can see here that, uh, so this is the overview, and this is something that's sort of uh, updated fairly slowly. Um, so now you can see something interesting here, and let me, uh, uh, let me do this on an hourly basis, um, that at some point over the weekend, uh, my group's website experienced a, a pretty large spike in traffic. There was a fairly, uh, there was a blog post that I wrote that got some uh, pick up by some websites and so there was a spike in activity I think this is like Saturday or Sunday and then you know since then it's sort of been leveling off um, this is far more activity than this website normally sees you can see on a daily basis um, you know down here a normal number of sessions now Google Analytics tries to group uh, all activity by a single computer into a session um, so that that's not just page views, that's actually one person interacting with very par various parts of the site. But like a normal number of, of sessions for my group's website is like 20. Um, and then on, um, on Sunday we had 20,000. So that was a, a kind of an interesting spike in traffic. Uh, it looks like, yeah, Saturday there were about 6,000. Um, you can also, the Google Analytics has kind of a neat real time um, component. So I can look at the number of people that are active on the site right now. Again, like this is way larger than it would normally be. Normally this would be like one or two. Uh, it gives you some information about the pages that people are visiting. Uh, this is the post. Uh, this is, these are other pages on the site. Um, you know, some information about who's looking at what. Um, it gives you some information about the uh, sources of traffic. So this is where uh, people, it, to, to the degree that Google Analytics can detect this, this is where traffic from my website is coming from. Uh, somebody must have posted this on Twitter, so I'm getting some hits from Twitter. Um, and then also, uh, this is really washed out. I don't know why the, the map didn't load properly. Let me try reloading the page. Um, there's a map down here as well, and it'll kind of give you a sense of where traffic is coming from. Uh, looks like it's just broken right now. Um, anyway, so uh, yeah, Giza, I don't know, geez. Um, let's see, so maybe if I go back to, let me go back to the top level dashboard, because um, that map might be a bit, bit better. Let's see, audience. And, and there's like, you know, I, again, I'm not a power user of this tool. There's a huge amount of information that you can, you can use. Um, so there's demographic information. I don't, I have no idea how they get this. Uh, maybe by combining this with some other information they have about people. Uh, gender uh, information, uh, you know, interest category. Uh, I don't know why the top interest is sports, individual sports, running and walking. That seems strange. Um, but anyway, so, you know, so this is the type of information that, that people uh, can get uh, about you in aggregate when you're using a particular website. And, you know, to some degree, this is information combined from a variety of different people. But it gives you a sense of how 
particularly you know, a, a company like Google, by deploying a tool like this, can combine information potentially from a variety of different sources to try to give website operators a fairly interesting and nuanced picture of the traffic to their sites. Now, if I was operating like an e-commerce website or something like this, I would probably be using this information to try to improve the site, improve various metrics about the site. This site's entirely informational, so I don't care. Um, I've just used this to kind of figure out you know, how much traffic there is. Um, but you know, uh, people could use this information to try to understand their user base, try to improve features of the site, and so on. But from a user perspective, the thing to keep in mind is this is stuff that sites know about you. And this, again, is using a library that allows the information to be processed in certain ways that are fairly powerful. Uh, but when you browse on websites, stuff like this is being tracked. Websites are actively collecting this information and might be using it like I am just for sort of amusement or might be using it to try to track you or improve the website or try to you know, get you to pay money for things or get you to sign up for an account or whatever.